Killer whales live all over the world, but in the Pacific Northwest, most people are familiar with one distinct population, the southern resident killer whale. These whales are extremely endangered, with their numbers dropping to fewer than 80 individuals. The Killer Whale Research and Conservation Program is a strategic effort to aid in their recovery by focusing on three key areas, increasing prey availability, improving habitat, and using research to strengthen management. Prey availability is a big problem for southern resident killer whales. Their diet relies heavily on Chinook salmon, and these fish are either not there or they're so small that the whales can't find them. The research we're focused on now is looking at hatcheries where we could try to improve the survival and size of fish so that our starving whales have more to eat. We want to increase the availability of Chinook, but to do so, we need to consider the entire food chain. By removing shoreline armor and preventing future installations, we can restore and protect the natural habitat of insects, forage fish, and juvenile salmon. Impacts to habitat are a big problem for southern resident killer whales. Whether it's contaminants in the environment, loss of habitat for prey species, or things like noise in the environment that are disturbing the whales, all of these have an impact. We have on the water education and research, and then we're also there to prevent disturbance from vessels. That's why we're out there, we're trying to increase knowledge about southern resident killer whales and the guidelines that protect them. For southern resident killer whales, where there's such a complicated array of threats that are impacting them, there's a lot that we don't know. And so the research part of this killer whale research and conservation program is really oriented to identifying those gaps and improving our understanding of killer whale life history so that we can more effectively protect them. I'm currently looking at the amount of contaminants a female killer whale transfers to her calf. One of the surprising things that we found is that these calves are getting very high doses of contaminants in the milk from zero to five months, which is a huge concern because newborns are still developing and they're more susceptible to illnesses. It's a difficult problem. We're using passive acoustic recorders to determine where the whales are during the winter on the outer coast of Washington. When we hear a particular stereotypic call, we know it's a particular pod at that location. We can connect the detections together to get movements. So the acoustic recorder data is helping to inform the revision of critical habitat. Killer whales are an iconic species of the Pacific Northwest. The population is in such low numbers. What we're really hoping to do with this public-private partnership is find solutions and help improve overall management of the species and bring this population back.